Manchester City, quadruple winners. Al says dreamers. He thinks all the City fans are dreamers. He doesn't think it's going to happen. Why not? Why can it not happen? There were 100 to 1 to do this at the beginning wow. of the season. 100 to 1, right? I'll let Sam tell you the odds now. But they've got an 11-point lead in the Premier League with six games to go. Manchester United fans think they're the back in the title race. Pathetic. Um, League Cup final against Tottenham <laughs> next weekend. Champions League semi-final, everybody, against PSG. I mean, PSG, come on. Come on. That's done. That one's in the bag. And then an FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea. So, they've lost four games out of 50 in all competitions this season, Manchester City. Why can they not win the quadruple? Sam, what are the odds? They were, they were 100 to 1. What are they now? Well, yep. Yeah, they were 100 to 1 before the start of the season. And they are now just four to one to oh, win the quadruple. <laughs> There's never been a team that has had a chance like this mm. to, to go on and, and do what's never been done before. They're in a, it's an incredible position they're in. And, um, you know, we spoke about this a, while, a few weeks ago and, and I think they were around nine to one then. And yeah. I was thinking, look, you know, there's no chance it can't happen it can't happen can it but I think the way they have got the job done certainly against Dortmund recently you know we'll, we'll, we'll find out a lot more about them obviously against Chelsea which is a huge game in the FA Cup uh, but yeah they, they've never there's a, a team's never been in a better position to win the quadruple and and four to one from a hundred to one says it all we've got a few punters as well that, are, that have got on City at big odds to win the quadruple. So um, we could take a bit of a bashing. <laughs> I mean, look, that's, that's essentially like six cup games, isn't it? When it? With all the cup games, that's six. And then in the Premier League, they probably did another three or four wins. So they're, you know, they're eight or nine games away from potentially doing the quadruple. It's never been done by an English side, Al. When you look wow. at the Manchester United team in, in the 98-99 season, they were absolutely superb. And you know, they, had, they had their little mm. bits of luck for the, the pieces of the jigsaw to fit. Yeah, they would have to be compared to that team. Those those ninety nine boys would have to doff their caps to City, surely, if it's done. Absolutely. The reason I didn't think they would do it was I thought that the draw against Dortmund would be more difficult for them. They got a little rub the first game because it should, the game should have finished two two. But I've got to say the performance in Dortmund was absolutely. I mean, and I'm talking from people of experience from going to places that you think, God, this is a tough place to come and play. I mean, I thought they were magnificent, uh, Man City. I mean, absolutely magnificent. And now all of a sudden, you're right, I'm thinking PSG, because my boys, I thought they were very unlucky by them against PSG. And I can see Man City doing them. I really can. The only thing I'm thinking is, can Chelsea stop you getting to the final of the FA Cup? Because I do think you'll beat Spurs. The league's in the bag. And all of a sudden, the Champions League is absolutely within touching distance now. And it's just the FA Cup. We put the the, uh, the icing on the cake. Forty-one from hundred. How did we not see that? Well, 